Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a numerical based upon the S curve hydrograph. So let's start. Now the problem statement it says that the ordinates of the two hours unit hydrograph is given in the table which is shown below. And if there is a storm of three hours in a catchment area for which the total rainfall is 6.6 .6 centimeter and phi index, which is known as the infiltration index, for the catchment is 0.2 centimeter per hour, then find the ordinates of the flood hydrograph at five hours duration for which the base flow is taken as 15 cubic meters per second. Now in the table for the two hours unit hydrograph, the ordinates are given for one hour duration in the catchment area. So for zero hour, the value is zero. For first hour, the value of the discharge is two cubic meter per second. Then it is three. Then after next hour it is 5, then maximum value is obtained at 10, then 8, 6, 4 and 0 respectively till the 8th hour. Now using all of this data we have to find out the ordinates of the flood hydrograph for the entire curve and at the 5th hour duration we will check what is the value of that ordinate. So, the data is given for the 2 hours unit hydrograph. What we are requiring is the 3 hour flood hydrograph. So, that means using the 2 hour unit hydrograph, we have to derive the 3 hour unit hydrograph. That means this 3 is the desired duration. But what is the problem? that the duration of the given unit hydrograph that is not a integral multiple of the desired duration because this will be 1.5 times of this value that is a fraction therefore the direct method of superposition that will not be used here and in such cases when we are having the fraction as a relation between these two duration we would use the method of s curve that is the first step to check whether we will use the s curve or not now knowing this much information then we will write down the data corresponding to three hour storm and for the storm of three hours the data that we are having that is the rainfall that has occurred in that area that is 6.6 .6 centimeter then phi index is given now this phi index is 0.2 centimeter per hour now when you look at this duration this is indicating that in one hour duration the infiltration that has occurred so this phi index is representing the infiltration loss and that too in one hour that is is equal to 2.2 centimeter that is the value of the infiltration loss now the total storm which has occurred that is for three hour duration Therefore, the infiltration loss that will be equal to 0.2 into 3 and that value will be in centimeters. This is the total infiltration loss during the storm and this value is, is equal to 0.6 centimeter. Now, because of which the value that we have to calculate is the excess or the effective rainfall that means the part of the rainfall which is contributing towards the runoff 
that is the actual rainfall that is 6.6 .6 cm minus the infiltrated water. So out of the total rainfall 0.6 cm has percolated into the ground and that will not be flowing over the ground in the form of the runoff. Therefore the effective rainfall depth that is ERD that is, is equal to 6 cm. That is the value of the effective rainfall. Now this was the data which was obtained from the given values of the storm. Now to convert the unit hydrograph we have to use the S curve. So now using the ordinates of the 2 hours unit hydrograph we will obtain the ordinates of the 3 hour unit hydrograph. So first of all we will write all the ordinates that are given. So the first column would be for the time then the second one will be for the 2 hours unit hydrograph. So time started at 0 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. Okay. 2 hours unit hydrograph corresponding to 0 this value is 0 then 2 then 3 then 5 then maximum value is at 4 that is 10 then 8 6 then again 4 and at 8 hour duration it is 0. So to produce the S curve I've told you the direct method that we have to write the two components that is the S curve addition the value which has to be added so as to get the S curve ordinates. So this is the value of the S curve ordinates. So the first value has to be written as it is that is 0. Then it has to be lagged by the amount for which the unit hydrograph is to be calculated. So we want to calculate the S curve for the 3 hours unit hydrograph. So for that first of all we will calculate the S curve for the 2 hours duration. Therefore this has to be lagged by 2. So whatever value we are achieving at the 0 hour that has to be written corresponding to 2 hours. So the first value will be 0. Then the next value that will be written as 2 and this will be shifted again. This will be 2. Then 3 plus 0 that will again be equal to 3 and it has also to be shifted. It is also to be shifted. Then the next value that will be 5 plus 2 that is 7 and it will be lagged by 2 hours. So this will be the 7 value. Then again 10 plus 3 that is 13. So this value is 13 and it is lagged by 2 hours that is getting 13 Then 8 plus 7 that is 15 that has to be written corresponding to 7 hours Then 6 plus 13 that is 19 it has to be shifted here Then 4 plus 15 that is again 19 which will again be shifted that is 19 0 plus 19 that is again 19 and then 19 only that is again 19 so that means the value that we are getting as the equilibrium discharge that is is equal to 19. This is the value of the equilibrium discharge. Now the next value that we want to calculate this S curve ordinate that we have got here this is corresponding to the 2 hours unit hydrograph. So this S curve has to be lagged by the desired duration that is 3 hours. So that means this first value that we are writing here it has to be shifted corresponding to 3 hours. So the first value will be 0 at 3 hours and then all the values will be written as it is that is 0, 2, 3 then 7 then 13 
then 15 then 19 19 19 and again 19 now the difference of these two because what we are doing if we look at the curve it would be better to understand with the help of the curve so the first s curve that we have got that is let's say of this shape after a certain duration we are getting the constant value of 19 cubic meter per second now then another curve that we are plotting that has been lagged by three hours so it has started from here and it will be lagging and then again we will be getting a constant value that means effectively the value that we are getting that is this duration these ordinates that is the one that we are getting and this is representing the this is representing the s curve ordinates for the desired duration and if we multiply that with the this is the direct run of hydrograph and if we divide it by the duration or the effective rainfall depth then we would get the unit hydrograph ordinates so in the next step we have to subtract these two values let's say this is i'm writing as one and this is writing as two so we have to deduct second value from the first one so the first value will be zero minus nothing that is zero then two minus nothing that is again two then three seven then 13 minus 2 that will be equal to 11 15 minus 3 that is 12 19 minus 7 that is again 12 then 6 then 4 0 then after this 0 we are getting 0 minus 19 that is minus 19 minus 19 and minus 19 of these values that is known as delta y now to calculate the unit hydrograph this delta y has to be divided by the t by d value so in turn it will be equal to d by t it will be equal to d by t because what we are doing whatever ordinate that we are getting that is delta y that is for the direct run of hydrograph now to get the unit hydrograph we have to divide it by t by d value so ultimately we will be multiplying it with the d by t ratio which is d value is 2 hour and the desired one is 3 so that means we have to multiply each value by 2 by 3 so this will be 0 and 2 into 2 by 3 that is 4 by 3 then it will be 2 only then it will be 14 by 3 22 by 3 then 8 again 8 4 then 8 by 3 then again 0 then we will be getting the value in negative sense so we'll stop at this zero point now what we were requiring in the problem going back to the problem so we have to find the ordinates of the flood hydrograph at the 5 hour duration that we have to calculate so we will mark the 5 hour duration that is corresponding to 5 the ordinates that we are getting all of these are to be highlighted so the ordinate of the 3 hours unit hydrograph this value is the corresponding to 3 hours unit hydrograph so ordinate of the 3 hours unit hydrograph at 5th hour that is, is equal to 8 cubic meter per second that is the ordinate of the 3 hours unit hydrograph now corresponding to this value if we look at the term here this unit value that has been used that is indicating that the effective rainfall depth is, is equal to 1 centimeter only therefore we can say that for 1 centimeter effective rainfall depth 
the discharge value is 8 cubic meter per second and in this storm that is for the 3 hours the effective rainfall depth that has occurred in the area is of 6 centimeter therefore for 6 centimeter effective rainfall depth this discharge will be 6 into 8 that is is equal to 48 cubic meter per second that is the value of the effective rainfall discharge for the 3 hour storm now this we know as the direct runoff so the direct runoff for 3 hours storm that is is equal to 48 cubic meter per second now in the problem it was also given that the base flow for this 3 hour storm that is is equal to 15 cubic meter per second so when we have obtained the direct run of hydrograph this was the curve that we were getting and in this curve corresponding to the fifth hour we are getting the discharge of 48 cubic meter per second but it has been given that 15 cubic meter per second of the base flow is available that means this is the contribution from the groundwater because of which now we will add both of them so we'll start the direct runoff hydrograph from this 15 ordinate and we will finish it at again 15 so this will be the flood hydrograph for the 3 hour duration and this is the direct runoff hydrograph so that means this total ordinate has to be increased by this 15 value therefore ordinate of the flood hydrograph that is at fifth hour duration that is is equal to 48 plus 15 in cubic meter per second therefore the total discharge at fifth hour will be 63 cubic meter per second that is the q5 that is discharge at the fifth hour for which the hydraulic structure is to be designed now that completes the problem based on the s curve hydrograph now in the next video we will solve the another numerical which will be based upon the earlier hydrograph that we have already studied about thank you